Hey everyone, I'm down at Oakthorpe Nature Reserve today. Um, is if you've been watching my videos, um, the last few videos have been on Oakthorpe Brook. It's still where I'm going to work today, but where I've been previously is further upstream, and we're quite far downstream today. Um, and it's why it's important that I've been um, removing the river upstream because there is this nature reserve. So I'm going to show you the nature reserve and um, what, what it, what's happening here basically. Um, this path, sorry, just before we turn off. This path, um, as I understand it, used to be an old railway line. The, this whole area was mining. Um, there's still some old shafts knocking about, um, all cordoned off. Um, but this was the, the old railway line where they transported the coal. I'm just going to take you down this path here because um, something interesting is happening down here. You might not think it's as interesting as I do, but if you can see through here, it's um, a bit of a wetland and you see it's all orange and that's because it's full of iron oxide, um, believed to have all been brought up from the mining. Uh, it's all the way down there. It's the same on this side as well. I'm just going to show you a closer look down here. Over this bridge. And you can see, hopefully you can really see, that there's a bit of a sheen on it. And it's the same over here. Now I've been getting some advice on this because to me this looks like pollution, this looks like car oil um, and I haven't really had like a, a definite answer as to what it is or anything um, but I did see um, another video on YouTube that said that this could well be a natural process and if, if you know more about this than I do please comment because I I honestly don't know anything about iron oxide. So this YouTube video I found said that if you were to break the sheen and if it sort of stuck itself back together, that is a natural process. So I'm guessing that if it doesn't stick itself back together again, we're, we might well be looking at pollution then. So I'm going to have a test now. Well, it's not stuck itself back together. That that wasn't bad though. It is it is kind of sticking itself back together, so this might be a natural process. But as I say, if you know more than I do, please comment um, because I am open to suggestions here. Anyway. Let's carry on because this isn't my area where I'm working today. We're just going to travel a bit further around the nature reserve until we get to my spot. So coming into the ponds now, Oakathorpe Ponds as they're known. There we are. As nature re reserves go, this, this one is not very big. Um, there's a nest in that tree over there. There's something red in the water over there, I don't know what that is. Anyway, this is still not the location that I'm working in today. 
So carry on round here. You see this plant here? This is Himalayan balsam, if I remember rightly, and it's an invasive species, presumably from the Himalayans. Um, unfortunately, it's all gone to seed now. Um, it's all dying off here, but it's absolutely rife in this area. You see it all down here as well. It's all gone to seed now, so um, there's not much you can, can do. We could pull up these these plants that you can see clearly, but it's best to do it in the springtime. Um, um, you can see it's all down there. And you stand a better chance of eradicating it a bit better. I think they're also known as busy lizzies. It's a name I recognise. Um, I just saw some fish in there. Wonderful. We've got Oakathorpe Brook running along there. I think it separates into two, um, so it's, it's running along there and then it's also got forks off over there as well. Oakthorpe Brook is a very straight uh, river, stream rather. And where do fish live? In trees. So this is actually great. Um, this, I mean, especially as the as the river is so straight. Um, this helps break it up a bit and provide habitat for fish and uh, other wildlife as well. So this is great, it's created some deep sections there. Uh, it just breaks up the uniformity of the straight river. So, but this, this is where I will be unclogging today. So I don't necessarily want to take the wood out but I want to get the water moving because it's all stagnant. I've got to say I'm not really looking forward to getting in there because it's skanky um, but it should be worthwhile. So set up the camera and we'll make a start. Now, I was given some good advice by uh, one of my subscribers. I think it was Bobal27. Apologies if it, if it wasn't. Um, but I got some advice that if the water contains iron oxide, to not use my metal tools. So this is going to be all by hand today. I might use the odd stick if needed.
of it stunk. clearing but it's still not great and it's still getting stuck down here still collecting in these areas
Not a dignified way to get out there. Don't know if you can see, but it's all still collecting down there. It's moving through. I can see it on the other side. You, you probably won't pick it up on the camera, but it is moving through. Um, there's just a blockage under this branch, unfortunately. Oh! Giant frog just jumped out there. Go on. Just sat in the water.
Right, well, I got that stagnant part moving and it's flowing nicely. All the orange is gone. It is collecting slightly further downstream where all the logs are. I'm going to have a look now. If you can see it through there. It's collecting there. It is making its way through though. And then this is the other sort of blockage. It is making its way through nicely there though. It'll, it'll get caught all in in that debris there, but I think generally it'll be okay. I'm sure with some good rain a little flush through. I might try and see if I can help that go through. I'll see how feasible it is to get to.
Right, done. Jobs are good in. I'd have been lost without that stick. <laughs> so it's all flowing through nicely now. Obviously it is catching there, as we said, but it is making its way through. It's not as orange as, as it was when I started out, so it's making its way through somehow. So yeah, great. It's all lovely and clear there, where we started. Can you see the bottom and everything? So that's great. And you'll notice there's no rubbish around this this area. It's unfortunately all upstream. Um, I'm not sure at what point the riv the the rubbish stops and the cleanliness starts, but that's for another day. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget to like and subscribe, feel free to leave me a comment about the iron oxide, I'd be very interested to know your thoughts and, and knowledge if, if you know much about it. Catch you next time.